Yeah, so uh, uh, <coughs> when we went to go see Blade Runner, that was because we, we found Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suzz. And so it's that sad time of the night when it's our last, last beer. But it's happy and now we can try an awesome beer we've never had before. This one's courtesy of Brian and Katie. This is original maple truffle ice cream waffle. This is a 11.5% porter, I guess imperial porter if you want to call it that. Yeah. With maple syrup, cacao nibs, cassia, cinnamon, vanilla, and lactose. Okay, that's a lot. Adjunct porter. Adjunct yeah. Imperial Porter. I think so. But uh, when Brian got this, uh, I saw his check-in, and so I texted him. I said, how do I get my hands on this? And he says, you don't have to. I got one for you guys to share on Buzz and Sun. So that's awesome. Great to have good yeah, friends thanks, sharing Brian. good beer with us. Thank you. Uh, so we're excited about this it one. smells awesome. I Dude, know we're not there yet. It okay, smells so. crazy. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, it looks like porter really right dark. So it smells. Imperial Porter, tan head, dissipating alcohol legs. Yes. <sighs> Wow, so I get like vanilla and maple syrup. I, I was gonna say, I can like, tell this. there's maple in this. You know, a lot yeah, of times like it just smells sweet. But this sweet is and creamy and mapley and vanilla goodness. I, I can get vanilla too. I, I, I think I'm getting, I, it, cassia and cinnamon are kind of the same, or yeah, I think so. They kind of have that cinnamony yeah. smell. I, I Almost like you think of those that. baked Alaskans, you know, with that crumbly stuff on top oh. of ice cream, you mm. know. Oh. Mm. Yeah, smells I wonderful. I can't say I get the cinnamon, I don't but smell anyway. I want to drink it. I mean, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Mm. Wow. Wow. Super sweet. I get a little maple, cinnamon, and I get a lot of maple. And then kind of like a brown sugar. Yes, brown sugar sweetness. I think maybe they're from the cassia in combination with the with the uh, maple syrup. Yeah, it's hard, you know. Mm. Cinnamon, if cinnamon is really sweet, it doesn't have you know that like cinnamon that sugar burn. Type. Yeah, it doesn't have that burn. No, it, no. It's more like brown sugar. Right. That's. I agree mm. with you. That's what I get. Mm. And then like this kind of chocolate, a little bit of roast there on mm -hmm. the back as well. Yeah, this is really good. Definitely sweet, but I like how the sweetness is balanced by a little bit of roasted malt on the back, I think. Yeah, and the I cacao, agree. kind of like mm -hmm. a bittersweet baker's chocolate. chocolate yeah. mm -hmm. mm. It's thicker than Fitness Freak was. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's got a definite, uh, I mean, it's it's a, a porter, imperial porter, um, so it's not like chewy thick, but it's definitely but it's, kind of a velvety thickness. It's thick for an imperial porter. Yeah. That's really good. It doesn't taste artificial. I mean, they, I know they say there's lactose, mm. but don't know that they needed it but I still get that like when I was talking about that baked Alaska I get this kind of crumbly I mean I can picture like brown sugar crumbs like on top of this vanilla ice cream okay I get mm. that really good a, and not your typical cinnamon though I will say it's not like a, a right, cinnamon the, the stout that, cinnamon yeah that thing. it doesn't have it's more of like a, that kind of sweetness sweet, yeah. almost a brown sugar instead mm -hmm. of cinnamon yeah I agree this is phenomenal. Mm. And this was not distributed in the U.S. Yes. And this yes. was from Belgium. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. Quite the treat. Mm. So is More this... More famous vanilla. Is that the truffle or chocolate or is that poop? It's poop emoji. Yeah, here it's <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Poop emoji. Mm. <sighs> poop. That's false advertising because <laughs> it tastes so good. No, it's awesome. Um, this is definitely better than the barrel aged fitness freak. I gave that a four or five. So, I, I mean, this is like a quarter point better. Either I need to downgrade my barrel aged fitness freak or upgrade this. So, it's kind of in between for me. I'm going to go four, six, seven. I'm not but sure I, where I am yet. I think I, I should downgrade my barrel aged fitness freak. But anyway, I dig this. I dig it a lot. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a four or five or. Four, six, seven. I'm or not four, sure five yet. plus. It's kind of in between. Anyway, it's really good. It's top tier. Um, I would say get this, but you gotta yeah, travel. I'm gonna go four, seven, five for a porter. I mean, it's hard yeah. for me to rate an imperial porter as high as I do imperial stouts. Yeah. But I mean, this is this is phenomenal. Really good. I'm gonna go four, seven. We always five. talk about the old uh, funky Buddha imperial porters, and this yeah. is like. Better on that it same is. type of ad, adjunct but imperial porter that's just really solid, right? But you know, and the thing is, 
I could never rate a Kolsch a 475. Some people I've had discussions slash arguments with that say, you know, if it's perfect to style, you should rate the perfect Kolsch as a five. But I, I just, you can't, to me, you can't do that. Yeah. Um, Drink what you like and you rate what you like higher. Rate what you like. <laughs> and this is right maybe for style, Sweet. it might be a five, but for what I really like, an Imperial Port, it's one of the best Imperial Porters I've had. Whatever yeah, number really you get good. it, this is a must try. This yeah, is a top a, tier. This is a wonderful beer. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Thanks. This, this is, is really uh, good. Can't wait to. I'm just going to. I don't want to just chug it just to get more yeah, tasty right. notes. I want to kind of sip on a little bit. So. Me too. All right. Anything else? Mm. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.